Welcome to Royal News Updates. OMG. A minute ago, Meghan and Harry decision for Archie and Lilibet royal title made Queen Elizabeth angry. Before we start, please, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should not bring Lilibet to meet the Queen, according to Express.co.uk readers. In a poll that ran from 10 a.m. on Sunday, March 6, to 8 a.m. on Monday, March 7, Express.co.uk asked, Do you think Meghan and Harry should bring Lilibet to meet the Queen? A total of 7,639 people cast their votes, and hundreds of comments were left below the accompanying article in a lively debate. Overwhelmingly, the majority of voters, 81%, 4,896, said no Meghan and Harry should not bring Lilibet to meet the Queen. Just 22%, 1,048, said yes they should and a further 2%, 119, said they didn't know. In the comments, it was clear that many felt that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had damaged relationships with the rest of the royal family too much. Username Mal O2 Lorca said, they have totally disrespected the Queen and the family. They then call their daughter the Queen's pet name, totally despicable. Others felt that the Sussexes may use the visit as a PR stunt. Username Janet1958 said, not if it means they are using her as an excuse to get the security they are demanding. Make a private visit by all means but don't use it as a PR stunt. And username Sutty61 wrote that in their opinion, if they wanted to bring her they would have done it ages ago. The only way they'd ever bring her eyed if they would gain something from it monetary wise or promotional wise. Meanwhile, username Budbud said, if Harry and Meghan had truly wanted the Queen to have met Lilibet, they would have already done so, privately, and returned home to California without the public finding out about it until after the fact. Others agreed that if they were to bring Lilibet to meet the Queen it should be a private affair. Username Nels said, I think the Queen would like to see them, so do it privately because we all know they have publicity don't we? And username Mrs. Mitchell wrote, I very sadly had to vote no to them bringing the wee lass to meet her great-gran. I would like the Queen to meet her new great-granddaughter in person but the Henrys would make such a spectacle of it and their presence that I have to hope it doesn't happen. Username Philco58 said, Yes, for once I believe they should use a private jet, self-funded, and bring both children to see their great-grandmother, without any fanfare, no press coverage, just as family members. However, some argued there was little point in Lilibet meeting the Queen. Username Moses Morgan said, No, there is no point. Their children are so young they would not remember the Queen and since they will be brought up in the USA and not be part of the royal family anyway, I think it is best to leave things as they are. While username Madgren47 wrote, The Queen has enough children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren to keep her happy without them visiting. All the attention would be on Harry and Meghan and not the children, I am sure Zoom is enough for her to see them and communicate with them. The Queen can do without the stress that they would bring. Meghan and Harry moved to California with their son Archie, now two, in 2020 after stepping back from royal duties. Their daughter Lilibet Lily Diana Mount Patton Windsor was born on June 4, 2021 in the US. When Lilibet was born, there were COVID travel restrictions in place, but recently there have been questions over whether the family will bring her to the UK to meet her namesake the Queen. Lilibet is the Queen's 12th great-grandchild and was named after the monarch's childhood family nickname. Thanks for watching, please. Share your thoughts in the comment. Thanks. Subscribe to our channel.